Production Studio in Zoom Events and Zoom Sessions allows hosts to customize what an attendee sees. Hosts can customize layouts, add borders to videos, adjust the video aspect ratio, and more. In this video, you will learn how to access the Production Studio in your Zoom Events, customize a scene, and use Production Studio in a Zoom Events webinar session. Before we begin, please note the following. Production Studio is only available for users with Zoom Events and Zoom Sessions licenses. The host must be on the Zoom Desktop Client version 5.15.10 or higher. The attendees must be on the Desktop or Mobile Client version 5.13.0 or higher. Attendees must have the minimum version to see the produced view. If attendees join the webinar with an older client version, they will only see the speaker or gallery view and the session wallpaper, if added, once the scene starts. Scenes are represented as spotlights. Only those speakers placed in the scene will appear. Other panelists, even with their video on, will be hidden. To access the production studio, create a Zoom event or edit an upcoming event to access the event setup. In the left side menu, click Event Content, then click Sessions. Now create or edit a session. Once you complete the session's basic info tab, access the In Session Branding tab. Please note this is for webinars only. It is not available in meetings. Finally, under Production Studio, click Open Production Studio. Once you open the Production Studio, the following will appear. In the left panel, you will see the scene list. Here, you can add and manage scenes, including duplicating or deleting a scene. In the middle, you can preview the scene with a real-time preview of custom scenes in the webinar. In the right panel, you can define the scene name, video aspect ratio, border style, and scene wallpaper. Let's customize a scene. In the top left corner, click Add Scene. Your scene will appear in the left panel Scene List. In the right panel, name your scene. The scene name is only visible to the event organizer. Then select a layout. Click the drop down menu to select all layouts, shared content, or video tiles. Once you have the desired layout, select the aspect ratio you want to use. Now click the Border Style tab to set the color of the video borders. You can choose a color from the existing color circles or click the color wheel to add a custom color. You can use the slider, enter a hex number or the RGB values. Lastly, use the Border Width slider to set the video border width. If desired, you can also set a wallpaper for this scene. Your wallpaper will be displayed behind the video tiles and shared content. Please note to use only JPEG or PNG files with the recommended image dimensions of 1920 by 1080 pixels and a maximum image size of 10 megabytes. To add a wallpaper, click Add Wallpaper to select the wallpaper for this scene or set it as the default wallpaper for all scenes. In the pop-up window, click Upload Wallpaper and select the photo you want to use or upload a new image in the content library. Then click Select an Image. You can then select which area of the image will be displayed by adjusting the cropping grid. Click Save. Remember to select the wallpaper. In the bottom right corner, you can choose to set as default for all scenes. Click Save to set your wallpaper. Under Top Safe Area, use the slider to define top padding to prevent the content and video tiles from obscuring key elements in the background wallpaper. In the Scene Speaker section, you can choose which person will fill each video tile. Finally, click Save. You can keep adding scenes as needed up to a maximum of 50 scenes. 
In your Zoom event webinar session, click the View button in the top right corner of the video window, then click Production Studio. The Production Studio window will appear where you can preview, reorder, or disable individual scenes. In the Production Studio window, you will see the following elements. The Scenes list displays the session scenes that you created in Production Studio. The speaker and gallery views are available at the top of the scene list. The preview window displays the selected scene from the scenes list. The live webinar feed window is displayed next to the preview window. This will show your session's live webinar feed and your scene when it's live. Under Sources, participants are displayed. You can drag and drop the participants from this section into the previewed scene to replace the speaker. Now, in the Scenes list, select the scene you want to preview in the preview window. In the preview window, you can modify speakers by adding speakers to scenes without assigned speakers, replacing a speaker using the participants under Sources, replacing a speaker using the ellipses, or removing a speaker. Click Send Live to make the scene visible to your attendees. Your scene will appear in Production Studio with the On Air label in the Live Webinar feed. You can find more information on this and other topics by visiting our support center at support.zoom.us. Thank you for watching.